Hi, I'm Steve Shaughnessy with Popular Woodworking Magazine. I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and share with you an idea and a method I've used for drilling accurate and repeatable holes using the drill press and a series of stop locks. You might think of this as an example when you want to drill dowel holes at the ends of legs and perhaps a stretcher somewhere lower than that. There are many applications. So let's take a look at how this is set up and how it works. So I've determined I want to drill three holes on this part. One at an inch and an eighth from the top, then another one at two and three eighths from the top, then a third one down here at nine and a half inches from the top. And I'm going to do that on a couple of parts here. So how do we do that? Well, I first set a stop lock to my fence clamped in place. And with that stop lock, you'll see that I can drill this hole at the nine and a half inch location. Now, by inserting a seven and a quarter inch spacer, that moves my part to this location for the two and three eighths inch hole. And then by simply inserting another short block, in that place, I'll finish my third hole at an inch and an eighth. Now, look at how these are made. First of all, I have a little space underneath for collecting chips so that when I put my various inserts in, they don't let chips that I've already drilled prevent the block from uh, seating against the previous one. The second thing I've done is I've relieved this contact face so that there's just a little bit of square at the bottom of each one. And that also lets you know and see more clearly that your block is seating against the one next to it. So let's try this and see how it goes. And there you have it, accurate, repeatable holes.